Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new series on this channel called Editor's Essentials, and it's sponsored by Editor's Keys. I'm Premier Gal, and in this series, I'm gonna show you hardware and software tips that'll help you get started in video editing. In this first episode, you're going to learn the best computers for video editing. So what computer will give you the best and fastest video editing experience? Well, the truth is, is that the best computer for video editing is different for every person. It depends on your computer system, whether you like Mac or PC, where you like to work, if you prefer to be mobile or at a set office, your budget, and the level of complexity of your edit. But my goal here is to give you the information you need so when you're buying your first editing computer, you can make a better decision. So first, let me demystify some of the common terms you may run across when you're considering what video editing computer to buy. And then at the end, I'll give you my computer recommendations. So first up is CPU. The CPU is your central processing unit. It's the main chip that acts as the brain of your computer, and it controls and delegates all the tasks. So for video editing, I recommend at least a 2.2 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7 chip. But what does that mean? In the early days, there was only one core, but now there's multiple core units allowing your computer to perform multiple instructions at once. So the more cores you have, the faster your computer. And what is the 2.2 gigahertz? Well, that is the clock speed. And this tells you how many instructions your CPU can handle per second. So a higher clock speed means faster processing. Next up is GPU. And GPU is extremely important when it comes to video editing because GPU stands for graphics processing unit. It's basically a graphics chip that is used for processing and rendering images and video on your computer. If you have a great CPU, but not a fast GPU, then you may see lags in video editing. So common GPU brands are Nvidia, AMD Radeon, and I recommend the GeForce GTX 1060 1050 or the AMD Radeon RX 560. Next up is RAM. I recommend at least 16 gigabytes of RAM for video editing. RAM is called random access memory. It's like a highway for all of your programs. And the more lanes you have, the more RAM you have, the more easily traffic will flow. If you have 32 gigabytes, it's even better. Now on to storage. When you search for a computer, look for one with an internal SSD, which stands for solid state drive. These are much faster than the standard hard drives. Now, some computers come with both solid state drives and hard drives in them, and that's great. Just be sure to set your editing software's media cache to your internal solid state drive, and you will see a huge boost in performance and speed. So based on this info, if you were going to buy a ready-made video editing computer, these would be my recommendations for both laptops and desktop stations. So first, PC laptops. Now most gaming laptops have all the hardware that you need for video editing. And this is why I'd recommend the Asus 17.3 Republic of Gamers laptop because it only costs $1,249 and you get everything you need. You have 16 gigabytes of RAM, a six core processor, you have an SSD and a SSHD and an awesome GPU. And for Mac, there's not as many options, but I'd recommend the 15 inch MacBook Pro with the quad core because it's more screen space for editing and it comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM and an AMD graphics processing unit and an awesome solid state drive. It's definitely more pricey than the PC option, but if you get the MacBook Pro, you can get the editor's key shortcut skin to protect your laptop and it will give you tips for shortcuts to edit faster in Premiere Pro or any other video editing software that you're using. Now on to desktop. 
There are so many amazing PC computers for video editing, but my number one pick based on price and speed is the CyberPower PC Gamer Supreme Liquid Cool Desktop, which runs for $2,289. And this computer comes with a top of the line processor and it comes with eight cores and 32 gigabytes of RAM and an awesome SSD as well as a hard drive and a great GPU. The only downside with this tower is that you need to buy a separate monitor to use, but that's pretty standard. And now on to Mac recommendations. I'd recommend the iMac Pro, which is a beast of a machine. It has a brand new 3.2 gigahertz Intel Xeon eight core processor, which can be configured up to 18 cores. And the GPU includes a Radeon Pro Vegas 56, and it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, which can be configurable up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. It comes with one terabyte of solid state drive storage. And as a bonus, this computer is not just a tower, it's a screen too. And it comes with a 27 inch 5K screen and the starting price for an iMac Pro is quite expensive. It's $5,000 to start, but the product is a great investment. So if you prefer Mac and can't quite make this leap to the iMac Pro right now, I'd recommend getting the Mac Pro, the 2013 trash can model. I have one and I got the eight core version with 32 gigabytes of RAM and it works great. So now that you have all of the tools and know the terms to buy your next computer, I'd love to hear about what video editing setups that you currently have and if you could use improvement and let me know in a comment below. Also, if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell so you're notified when we post new videos on this channel. That's all for this week. And in the next video, we will talk about the best external drives for video editing.